All right, greetings everybody, and uh, welcome to the Media Files, uh, the last one for this month of November. Yeah, hard to believe this year is pretty much gone. Uh, then, of course, we have the big major holiday Christmas coming up, literally here in a few weeks. And so, yeah, it'll be fun to see what we get for the channel. Yeah, content-wise. Um, could be some Christmas movie reviews or whatever, maybe. Leave a comment down below if you want me to review uh, some Christmas movies for the month of uh, December. Um, so, anyways, today, um, well... We have a package, yes. Uh, this is actually, I believe it's actually from, um, uh, I think it's one or two packages from Cyber Monday. Um, now, I probably wouldn't have done Cyber Monday given the fact that all the stuff that I just gotten, but one of the movies that I was really wanting, I could not find anywhere. But hey, I think I got this movie for five bucks on Amazon. So let's see what is in the package. Yeah. Yeah. Never rip it open here. There we go. Feels like a Blu-ray. Ah, it feels like a slipcover. Ah, yes. So, this movie, I've been really wanting to see this. Um, given the fact that I'm a big fan of this series. Um, which I really wish I had done a review of these. But, um, you know, hey. Not really going to complain that much, but hey, you know, we still got loads of great content to add in for uh, the new year, of course. Um, so, f shall we say that, uh, well, it's, like I said, it's, it's uh, basically, you know, I've wanted to see this, literally, but it is actually from the producers of the original classic, yeah. Um, which producers is that? Well, let's see here. Um... Let's see here. Well, from Rob Tappert. That should give me a clue instantly to which one it is. But here we have, with, of course, Warner Brothers logo written all over it, we have the Evil Dead Rise. Yeah, the fifth film in the Evil Dead franchise. And it kind of somewhat, I think it's a sequel. Kind of a, kind of, I think it's more, it might be more of its own movie. But, uh, you know, I... Saw trailers for this, and it looked really, really good. A lot of great practical effects, especially uh, given the fact that that's what the remake did. And it's kind of interesting because this one here has, well, really no ash in it. So it'll be interesting to see kind of where they go with this one. But they said it is awesome, and it's gory. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, well, if it can beat the, the, the remake of Evil Dead, then, uh, yeah... We shall see. Um, I don't know if this has any bonus features on it or not. It doesn't say. Um, I'll have to pop the Blu-ray in and see if it actually says anything. Because literally, well, as you can tell, there's no bonus features on it. But it comes with a DVD and, of course, a Blu-ray. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, take it out of the wrapping here. So, I have to add in the digital code as well, just to claim that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll do digital copies, but mainly I don't really... The only time I ever really use digital copies is if I, um, you know, I'll have them stored onto the, uh, you know, through iTunes or whatever, and then I, if I ever am going anywhere, I'll just download them and just take them with me. It's just so much easier. Alrighty, so let's see what the... Uh, See if there's any disc art, shall we? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. No extra flyers or anything. So, alrighty. So, oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, so, for a DVD, we got red, of course. And then, of course, we have, for the Blu-ray, it's green, but it's, it's like that puke green. You know what I mean? It's like that nasty, nasty puke type of green. Almost, almost military colored, but just enough to make it look nasty. You know what I mean? Just given the fact of what, how gory Evil Dead can be. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this. I really wanted to see it in theaters, but I did not get a chance to see it. So now I can sit back this holiday season and, um, you know, what can we say? 
watch some good old gore fest while nobody else is around. Yeah, so, all right. So, with that, uh, I think I've got one more package coming. Um, I did order something else. Um, it's more of a classic movie, which I've heard. It's supposed to be really good. Now, I know um, it was remade for HBO as an HBO movie, but, um, you know, we will see if that comes probably sooner or later. But, yeah. Like I said, I only ordered two things for Cyber Monday since I got literally all this stuff that I'd showed you in the uh, that major four-part uh, Black Friday update. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, with that, remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Alright, you guys. So, um, I was doing a little bit of digging on this. And, um, well, so... I just got this Blu-ray, and I noticed that uh, there's no bonus features on it. So upon actually looking up the review, uh, thanks to Blu-ray.com, where I do a load of my, you know, searching for movies for a good, you know, cheap price, um, Warner Brothers decided not to put any, any bonus features on this disc at all. Now, mind you, about a month ago, they did have this. There is a link on their YouTube page. A seven-minute behind-the-scenes video of entitled Raising the Evil Dead or Raising a Dead or something like that. Seven-minute featurette. And on top of that, so how hard is it, Warner Brothers, for you to literally... Put a lousy seven-minute behind-the-scenes feature on here. And on top of that, why couldn't you even put the trailer on here? You know? How hard is that? A trailer hardly eats up any disk space. Like, maybe a couple of megabytes. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to do a full-on rant about this. Yeah.